For the first time in my life, I'm saying you should look at the TSP F fund, the F as in Foxtrot. Now, I can't make fun recommendations because I don't know your circumstance or anything, but man, and not just the F fund, all bond funds. For the first time in my life, I've always said, yeah, there's no value in the F fund you know, as, far, as far back as I can remember. Because it wasn't it. In fact, if you, you want proof of that, look at all the stuff I said in the first three, four years of this channel saying stay away from bonds. There's no value there. You're not getting any return other than the, the uh, G fund. I always like the G fund because it's a guarantee. And the Ginny May fund. Because the Ginny May fund historically didn't have nearly the volatility that we saw in 2022. It was amazing how much the Ginny May fund went down. But uh, relative to other bonds, it's not that big of a deal. But of those two funds, the G fund through the TSP and the Ginny May fund through Vanguard, I said stay away from bonds. Now, without question, the Ginny May fund got smoked. Federal will check that out here in just a second. And when I say smoked, it's all relative. But it got smoked by far like 300 times more or 300% more than we've ever seen, as all bonds did. But right now, it's a whole different story. In fact, uh, the fact that the Fed is now pausing their rates uh, increases, watch what happened to... Uh, to the 10-year uh, treasury yields right now this is crazy so 10-year treasury yield watch this guys watch that look at that so you see that oop, oop. oh boy oh boy oh boy comes in mcgee see that right there so this is what we're looking at look at that drop over a one month time Shoot, we have a bit of a jump right there i'm not sure what that's about but we have a big drop a drop of 50 basis points in the last month from uh basically that's a, that's a 10 percent drop in yields 10% drop in yields co uh, corresponds to a big price hike, uh, big price increase as well. So let's take a look here first and foremost at the TSP F fund. And we'll look at the Gini May and we'll look at another couple things. So we're going to TSP. We're just going to look at the F fund right here. And we're going to see in 2022, it was down 13% amigos. 2021 is down 1.5%. 2023 so far, year to date, it was it's down 2.77%. Uh, <laughs> so you are literally down, uh, you know, if you had $100,000 in there, you're down you know, 98.5, whatever that is, 86, something like that. You know, you're down about 83,000 bucks. Tell me that's not canuts. It is. Look at that. Now, what has happened any other time that TS, the F fund had any kind of bad returns? Here is in 2018, it was up one-tenth of one point. It was uh, the F fund right here, excuse me. Right there, F1. 2018 is up 15 basis points. What happened next year? Up, up. Look at that. Up 15 basis points. Very, it was basically breaking even, Stephen. The next year, up 8.68. The next year, 7.5. Now, let's go down to 2000, 1994, when the Fed was raising. It was down 2.96 in 1994. What happened when the Fed stopped raising in 1995? It took off like a freaking bat out of hell. 1999, the Fed was raising. It was down point, uh, 85 basis points. The next year is up. Into, that's before September 11th, by the way. All right, so look at that. I mean, anytime the bond funds get knocked around, they've always come back. Other than this, so far this year, I thought for sure, look at that, 12.83%. And nothing even comes remotely close to that, dudes. Uh, 94, 2.96, not even close to 12.83. Isn't that crazy? It's nuts to me. So let's just take a look. I want to look at, I have this, I own a pretty good position in EDV. And we're going to look at EDV. And let's see what that guy's doing. The Vanguard extended. Given that the last month had been a pretty significant decrease in the yields, I bet the price on this has, has gone through pretty heavily. So let's take a look at one month on this guy. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Well, let me do one month. Um, it went from, what's that? 60, oh, that's a bunch I would have thought, 66 to 67. Okay, I would have thought, oh, one month? Yeah, there it is. Oh, not nearly as much as I would have thought. All right, take a look. Well, then you can see that right there. I guess because that's the long term. Long term didn't really uh, have nearly the jump as the 10 years. So let's look at the you know BND. Look. So that the long term hasn't uh, reflected well yet. But trust me, I'm getting my freaking short. I'm getting my shorts handed to me there. Uh, here's BND. We'll go to one month. Yeah, still not as much as I would have thought. I would have thought these bonds would have gone up more, given that the uh, the ten percent decline in yields in the uh, the ten year treasury. What did the what did the thirty year treasury do? I'm surprised by that. That's okay. The F fund is still. I mean, look, it's only, it's inevitable they'll stop raising when they stop raising. You know, they stop. Was it Friday they met the the Jerome Powell and the boys? Jerome Powell for president. 
And Friday, they uh, decided not to raise that rate that time. And uh, they're saying we might raise again, but we're not, we're, we're not lowering, but we didn't raise. So we have a pause, which, uh, oh, yeah. huh. like, well, there you go. There's a 10, a 30 year right there. So no wonder why my, my long-term bond funds haven't responded very well because there's 30 years down here and it dropped quite a bit over the last month, but we're still above where we were 30 months ago, uh, three, uh, a month ago on the 30 year treasury. This is just for one month, by the way. All right, yeah. So that's interesting. Huh. So that's why I haven't made any money because of 30 years. Let's actually go back here just a second. Check this out. Check this. And then we'll look at GM, Ginny May here in just a second. I wonder if we go to a month. Yes, yeah, so we see. Eh, not as much as I thought, man. I mean, we went from 68 to 60, you know, 69. That's not a big run. I'm, I would have thought it had been bigger than that. Let's look, go to EBB again. I would have thought it had been bigger than that. Um, you know, time will tell here. But we went from 62 to, oh, there you go. That's more of the pop I was looking for. 62 to 67, basically. Yeah, not as much as I would have thought, but that's okay. Anyway, so let's look at the Ginny May and see what the Ginny May did last year. In 20, all right, Ginny May, B-F-I-I-X. Uh, come on, man. What do we got? What do we got? All right, so here's a Ginny May. Let's take a look. Yeah, you can see a big run there. Eight to, well, yeah, it's still pretty big. Eight, uh, 855 to 883. It has 30%, 30 cents it picked up in the last month. Year to date, though, still, yeah, look at that, still getting crunched. That's crap. I'm telling you, man. I am telling you, there is, I, uh, <laughs> I just can't get over this. All right, so let's see what we got for Ginny May. Year to date down 2.13, and uh, 2022 is down 10, and 2021 is down 1. I mean, look, the worst it ever did, 2020, uh, 2013 down 2, 1999 was down. Uh, it wasn't down 94 is down 0.95 I just so 0.95 is up down uh 99 it was down 0.78 it was up 2013 it wasn't up that much but it were easy more than recouped the i mean by three times what it lost i i just tell you man that they're, they're not gonna rate i mean like anything could happen i don't know i just i need one of those collars that what who used to offer that where your collar doesn't get all Raggled like that. This is just old cheap. This is a Costco. It shouldn't be that cheap. You know, these long sleeve t-shirts. <laughs> always like long sleeve when it's cold. Cause I'm cold. I get cold hearted. But I'm telling you, I'm like I don't know. You got to do what you got to do. I'm just saying. At the end of the day, when the uh, when the bond levels level off, and then okay, everyone wants more Pablo. Everyone wants more Pablo, and Pablo wants more screen time. There he is. Hi. What are you doing over there, dog? Famously doing up to no good. The boys had a sleepover on Saturday, so I'm sure they left some uh, some stuff around that Finney's trying to get his hands on. Anyway, so anytime they, the Fed will stop raising, and they just stopped. Now, that doesn't mean they will, but, man, I'm telling you that. If, yeah, I'm, a bit, I'm early on my on my uh, call on bonds. I, I will tell you I'm early on that. But, man, don't get caught short because, I mean, once it changes, it changes like, well, they say it's gradual until it's sudden. And I think it, we're the uh, the gradual part is upon us now. I think. We shall see. But uh, to, don't overlook the F fund, for heaven's sake. And don't overlook your bond funds. All right, love your thoughts. We'll see you.